This time around, I got a very interesting scenario where I want to compare sales across two different uh, periods. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to create, basically, let's say I want to look at sales for this period, select that period, and I, will I want to compare it to sales of a different period. So you can see basically my sales amount for this selector versus the sales amount for that selector. And then we basically have, that's the absolute differences. And then uh, based on the date range, so this date range is, the comparative date range is much larger. So how to do an adjusted comparative sales amount um, based on a ratio of the period difference between the two. Let's get right into it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, <clears throat> first thing, I'm going to show you the, the data model. Data model looks something like this. We've got sales, we've got customers, products date and uh, sales territory first thing we need to do is we need to create a new table this table will be the uh, comparison compare dates and we're just going to say this is equal to the date table cool so this is going to create an additional table see like this comparative dates it's exactly a copy of the date table okay what I'll do with this table is I'll click this table and just call this date over here comparison date cool next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create if you look at this I'm gonna create a link between these two yeah cool I want to make this relationship inactive Whoop. And I'm going to call it a single. There we go. There we go. That's what we want to do. So that's exactly what you do. You create a relationship between your date and your compare dates tables like that. And that's what we need to do. So the next thing that we need to do is, cool, we can actually now create the measure so let's look at this report over here let's drop the filter so then we say cool so for this one the date range you want to select is drop it in there that's your date range cool let's copy this guy across and so say this is the comparative date let's take this thing out of there and we go to the compare dates and we drop the first thing what first thing you need to do is you need to also make this compare dates and to make it a date table so yeah, comparison date, yeah. Okay, cool, it must be a date table. Um, and now you say, cool, that's excellent. Bring the comparison dates in there. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's quickly save that. What we're gonna do is let's use a matrix report just to illustrate the concept here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the sales amount in. Bring this table over here, we bring the sales amount in as the values. Wonderful, we got the sales. <coughs> Next thing we're going to do is, I'm just going to do it per territory. Let's say the rows we're going to do is just a per territory. Cool, there we go. So there's the sales per territory. And if you modify that, you can see the sales differ based on the period that we have. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is, the next little step we're going to do is we're going to create a new measure. But in this measure, what we're going to do is we're going to activate this inactive relationship here. And do the sales according to this table and remove the filters on that table. All we'll do that is we say sales measures new. We tell it, hey man, what happened there? We say sales measures new. Bear with me there. We say calculate. Whoops. Yeah. We say we want to calculate the sales amount. Yes. But what we want to do is we want to switch off remove the filters we're going to use this modifier anything on the date table because we don't want that to be applicable but what we want to do is we want to instead of using that we want to use the relationships that the relationship between the date table and the compare dates comparison date table to do sales and let's call this one comparison sales amount actually as simple as that so we say cool there's your measure let's quickly format this measure let's make this measure a currency and we say zero cool 
there we go. So what we're going to do with this one is we're just going to drag it in there. Now you have a comparative amount, so let's quickly change it. See, so now you, there you go. There's your comparison. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Let's quickly do the chart. So let's take the chart. So let's quickly replicate these. Take this one. We say view the slicer. We just want to replicate that slicer to the other page as well. Comparison. Cool. Let's quickly do that. Let's say there's your sales amount and let's drag the comparative sales amount in there. How cool is that? We can see that period versus that period. Cool, eh? Well, that is excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly add, you see, so it's it's pretty, it's pretty, the results, the results are pretty skewed if I select a small period here and a big period here. You kind of want to adjust the comparison period based on the scale between the two. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly create a comparative uh, adjusted comparison measure. So for this one, I'm just going to paste some, it's going to show you what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to paste some code in here. So basically what I'm doing is I am The relationship we want to use is compare dates, comparison date. So what we do is we declare some variables, okay, comparison period. But what we do at the end here is we look at the days in the current period and the days in the comparison period and get like a ratio and then multiply the result by that ratio. Let's call this the adjusted comparison sales waste time and let's say this we put that there what we do is we do an adjusted comparison period see so now it's a little bit uh, more adjusted based on the ratio of the two periods it's a little bit more less skewed isn't that cool okay guys cheers man